What is up guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another Revelator IO24 video. And this is another unhappy Revelator IO24 video. There has been a new firmware update for this. I think it's version 1.19. I'll have to restart the device um, after I've shot this video to confirm that. And it has removed what I would say is a key product selling feature. And that was the stream mix button. So there used to be a separate mix here. As you can see, we've got three mixes going on. There used to be one sat in between main and mix A. And what this allowed you to do was there was a button here that you press called stream mix. And I'll show you it in a second in more detail on a unit that I have that's running the older firmware. Um, and when you press that stream mix button, it would then take everything over. So all your virtual inputs, let's just say it was this one, for example. So these would be like things like game sounds, discord, music, and all of that. It would then take the mix straight into OBS and you wouldn't have to come in, you know, and change your audio properties here. As you can see now, I'm having to use Stream Mix A. So what you could originally do was actually have, um, where was it? So you would have this mic line instrument one, two was also slash Stream Mix. So what that would allow me to do was just press a button and then it would send it straight through. Now, I'm not too happy with this. It seems to be like there is constant ongoing issues with hardware and software, both on the IO24. You can see here the manual has now been updated, so the StreamX has been removed. And as you can see here, StreamX mode removed from UC. Revelator products will remain in interface mode with physical inputs on USB 1 and 2. There is some other things that they've changed for it as well. They have also fixed the stereo image no longer reversed when voice FX channels were changed. I didn't notice that myself because I don't use it. But for me, the very important thing here is input signal no longer 3dB greater on left channel compared to the right channel when the DSP is bypassed. This is actually something that I did notice from when I was doing stereo recording with like pencil condensers. Um, I mainly thought it was just that I didn't have them positioned quite right where I've been making my sort of like little headphone tester dummy that seems to be taking forever to get actually built. Um, but I noticed that I was constantly having to, you know, drop one by about 3 dB again. So that absolutely makes sense here. Now I'm going to take you in for a closer look at the older firmware in a second. So you can see all of those stream mix features that have now been removed. And then after that, I'm going to show you an entire new guide on how you set up the Revelator IO24 for use with OBS, setting up all your stuff that's going to be coming in on your stream. And a lot of this will also apply the same for like Discord, Teams, Zoom, all of that stuff. I'm going to show you all the options and how you set all this up. And hopefully it's going to be the last guide I have to do on this because it's the third one I've had to show on loopbacks because of software changes and what, a two or three month period? It's not good personas. It really isn't good enough. Um, so yeah, I'll probably rant more about it at the end of the video. So I've just loaded up my MacBook so I can show you how it looked before. So the unit that we're actually using here is one of the faulty units, the ones that has the um, issues with low impedance headphones on headphone outputs and the main output as well, um, where it can cause this horrible sort of issues. And this one is running on the older firmware. Um, the one that I'm actually talking on right now, this is the one that you're seeing on screen moving around, isn't actually the one on my MacBook. This is the newer version that Personas actually sent out to me. Um, I did plan to make that video this weekend, but I will probably be making it next weekend or the weekend after now. Due to this firmware update, it's put that video back. I've actually been using the faulty unit for the, not the faulty unit, the working unit for about a month now. I wanted to just make sure that it worked well before I made a video. And for anyone that just wants a little insight, it has been working flawlessly for me. And actually this firmware update did fix one final little issue for me that I thought was actually an issue with something else. But I will tell you all about that in a second. So uh, here it is on the Mac then. This is the older firmware version, which I think is 1.13. So I don't know, there was a big jump there. I think they went from 1.13 to 1.19. Now, as you will be able to see here on screen, we have a main mix, a mix A, a mix B, and a mix C. And there is the stream mix button up here. So at the moment, I am recording into OBS. So if I go to the properties here, you can see that I'm recording to the Revelator IO24. Um, obviously, you're not hearing this audio at the moment. I've just got another microphone plugged into it. And that is what this one is, IO24. Now on Windows, this would be called main output main in like one, two slash stream mix. That is what it was called before. Then you've got your virtual A and virtual B. So these are the virtual A's and B's that you'd be sending out to other programs. Again, I'm going to show you all of this in a second. I know it's a bit weird switching from Windows to Mac, but I just wanted to show you, you know, 
the mixes that we had, which was great because this main mix you use to mix as a headphone mix. And like now I'm doing a tutorial guide, but then I decide later that I want to stream. Now what I would have to do then with a newer version is just come up in here and change this to virtual output, what, whichever one you're going to use. Again, you'll see as we do the guide later, which, you know, it's not really that much of a problem. It's easy to do, but it's just, you know, the fact that this feature was here, I know the main feature is the loopback, you know, and all of the processing and all of that stuff. But for me, this was a killer feature. So as you can see here, look, it's recording in. And if we go click on mix A, you can see, look, all of this is grayed out. It's not working. So this is where you would have things like, so these would be like your game, your Discord, um, music. Again, I'm going to show you all of this later. So for anyone that's new to the Revel IO24, it's going to make a lot of sense when you see it all later. So then all I would need to do now is to just press the stream mix button and watch. You can see as I'm talking, the audio didn't cut out. It didn't drop. OK, so down here, it didn't drop. I'm pointing at it with my finger because I know there's a camera on it, but I know you can't see that. So again, I'll turn it off and there you can look. There you go. It's still going. It doesn't matter how many times I press it. That audio recording isn't going to drop. And for me, missing that is like an absolute killer feature. So let's show you how you set up all the loopbacks and all the mixes. Then, so first things first, I've renamed playback to playback slash game, virtual A to slash music and virtual B to discord. Um, as you see how we can set this up, you can configure it any way that you want. But um, this is the way that I just like to go with it. Now, this is the main mix. This is the headphone mix that I'm listening to right now. Um, this is a mix that, you, you know, you, you're you not hearing at the second. This is mix A and this is mix B. OK, so I'm going to show you what they all are. So these mixes here then. So we need to be on the recording tab. And at mic line instrument one and two is this one. OK. Now, this one is not actually recording in OBS at the moment, which I'll show you in a second. So on this mix is it, although I can hear anything that's coming through, which you'll see in a second, it won't send any of these loopbacks over when you're using mic instrument one and two from my testing. Anyway, if you want to send all of this stuff that we're going to bring in and I'll show you that in a second, you need to use mix A or mix B. OK, so that is mix A and mix B. So if we come into OBS here, as you can see, I'm on stream mix A. OK, so that's what you want it to be on. This means that you can then bring in your loopbacks and sort of stuff. If you just want to record voice and you never want to do anything else, then you can use mic instrument one too. OK, but we want to obviously use all of the features of the Revelator IO24. I feel like I've got something like stuck on my beard. Something's going on. So then you also have playback. Oh God, why are they all down the bottom? So we've got left and right, virtual output A and virtual output B. So playback is playback in game. Virtual output A is virtual A, which I've called music and virtual output B is virtual B, which I've called discord. It's going to make more sense as I as I start to configure this, you will you'll realize a little bit more. So I've got my playback set as my main audio. So my game sounds are going to come through on here. So if you can see now, if I just I'll show you this for an example, and just monitor this. So I'm just going to play I'm going to turn the playback up a little bit. And I'm just going to play some music. You can see there's audio playing through here. And then it's playing through here. So we're just saying, let's just say this music was our game. So that's why I leave the playback channel for the game. So all the audio is going to go through there. Anything that you haven't configured in Windows Mixer, because this adds another layer to it, is going to come through on this channel. OK, so if I was playing a YouTube video now, it would come through on this channel. OK, I'm just going to mute that. But as you can see, we've got the audio coming in here, but we don't want the music to be there. We want music to be on virtual A. So if you go into the Windows Mixer devices, so literally just search Mixer down in here, sound mixer options. We're now going to set that to virtual output A. I don't know why there's two in here, but I just set both anyway. Um, and this could be the same, whether it was Spotify, whatever you want to come in on this input is now coming in on A. So let me just turn it up. There we go. So there we go. We've got music coming in on virtual A. Now we need to set up our Discord. So as you can see here, now we're on mix B. This is the one that we're going to use for Discord, Teams or Zoom or anything else. So then what we've done is we've set input device to stream mix B and output device to stream mix B. OK, so this is going to take this channel this microphone and it's going to send it to your friends on chat. And this would be the same if you're in Zoom or Teams, you both set them both to mix B. That's why I, I do it just to keep them all on this separate channel. So here, you know, 
do you want to play them some music? You don't know. You know, you want the game to be muted. You definitely want them to be muted because you don't want to stream, you know, them to go back in. So I would mute that one, mute that one, and then you can decide whether they're going to have music or not. In fact, just mute everything. You can always unmute it afterwards because all we want to do is send them our, our voice. So now that we're back on Streamix A, you know, we want to hear our guest. I'm, I, can, I can't play audio through Discord at the moment. So all we do is just turn that one up. So that's that's someone I'm playing games with on chat. That's that's a little bit of music. And that's our game. And that is how you adjust all your levels. And this is a really good thing because, for example, for me on the main mix, I'm probably going to want my Discord cranked and I'm going to want my game to cranked, but I'm not going to want music, okay, on the one that I listen to. Because I want to hear all the footsteps in the game and I want to hear the person that I'm playing my game with. But when you're doing a stream, your voice needs to cut above the mix. So you're going to have your game a little bit lower, you know, maybe your Discord up a little bit higher. And then you can just adjust your music when you need to. So, yeah, that is how you set up the Revelator IO24. Then I'll just go through all of the things one more time. I like to do this at the end. So OBS we have got set to stream mix A and that is stream mix A. So everything that we send on this channel, everything that's coming into this channel is going to go into OBS. Okay. For mix B, we have got that set to discord stream mix B. This can also be used for teams and zoom. So everything on input device B is what you would send. And that is going to send all of this audio here. Now, because we're sending that audio to a guest, we know that we probably don't want to play in the game. We don't really want to, we're not going to play them their voice back because that will cause a feedback loop, but we may well decide we want to play them some music or what we're listening to. If this was actually just something you were watching on YouTube, you could then just turn that up. Maybe you're watching a video together and you're doing a podcast and then you can send them that audio as well. So then we have the things that we need to bring back into this. So for our game, for bringing the sounds in and system sounds, we have got that set to playback one and two. That will bring audio in here to playback game and it will send it out to OBS on Streamix A. Then we have Virtual A set to our music, which again was just a simple thing of going to the mixer settings. You can set whatever you want in here. You can really, you know, do your own custom stuff. So if this was Spotify, you would set that to Virtual Output A, um, Apple Music, anything like that. And then we have music. And finally, we then have the Discord. So again, keep when will I just press Discord? We want that to now output all of the sound to virtual output B, which is then going to come down here. So there you go. It's um, yeah, it's pretty simple. I'm, I really miss the stream button feature. OK, I really do. So there we go. Then there's another Revelator IO24 loopback guide. And hopefully I don't have to do another one in the next couple of months. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a, a patchy thing with this device. Obviously, I've got the, um, you know, the faulty unit here. Um, which I might actually put on the new firmware update before I make that video to see if it's still suffering from those issues since it's had the update because there is one other problem that has been fixed for me um, since doing the firmware update. Now, I originally thought this was Battlefield 2042. When I did the review of this actual unit, I was actually having a big whinge how I'd just been playing the beta and there was just the headphone horrible noise issue was like amplified going crazy. Yet Trevor, who I was gaming with, couldn't hear anything. He was like, no, your audio is clean. I can't hear no feedback. And even since launch, because obviously everyone's complained about 2042. Well, so many things about 2042. But they massively can also complain about the audio. Like The audio is terrible for a Battlefield game. And even with the new unit, just whenever I would load that up, there was this horrible feedback, like this buzzing. It almost felt like everything here was ground looping, looping back and sensitive. You know, I could touch the end of my microphone and it would go all funky. But since it's had this firmware update, it works flawlessly with Battlefield. OK, so I don't know. I feel there's a reason for it. There must be a reason that they've removed this feature, but it was a key selling feature and I feel like they should have addressed that properly because people have gone out and bought this product based on that feature and they've removed it and they and what have what have they done you know it's not like they're announcing it or any of those things there was no warning when I updated my firmware that it would remove a key selling feature and for me again this is where I'm finding the IO24 even harder to recommend like I love this little device like I love it 
for its price with all the dsp and all of that sort of stuff built into it um all of the streaming stuff i love it and the fact that i've got two now as well because they sent me a replacement i'm actually going to take the re take the replacement to work do you know what i mean i can live with that noisy headphone thing because i know it's only me that can hear it and i've, I've bonus myself another one but um yeah we'll talk about all of that a bit more when we make the video i'm sure it's going to be another rant like this but um yeah i hope this guide helped you out and if you yeah if you're struggling do let me know um it's always a bit difficult to understand all of the inputs and outputs at first but as you set it up and work through it um you'll start to figure it out a bit more and probably the easiest way like i said there would be to have a music program you know something where you play some sounds and then you can test how all the inputs and outputs work as you move you know the music over on different inputs that will really help you out anyway end of the video waffle there i'm going to leave it at that um i'll be back with that video in in the coming weeks any questions let me know and make sure you subscribe